Welcome to another video from the Voyager Steam Lab. This is uh, from Voyager Middle School. We are making a wall hook today. This is our first foray into three-dimensional 3D printing. A lot of what we have done is just like this logo where it was flat and then we gave it a thickness, but this is our first attempt to do something 3D and we have to think about design considerations here. This one was made uh, from our logo. Uh, we did a tracing using Inkscape. You'll have to watch one of my other videos to figure that one out. What we're going to do today is this. We are going to sketch a plate, extrude the plate, sketch the hook, sweep the hook, add a hole so that we can attach it to the wall. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can start checking for overhangs. If you're going to use this for FDM or FFF uh, desktop 3D printing, Desktop 3D printers need some help. So there's another video after this about how to check for overhangs. So real quick, this is what we're going to make. Um, we are not going to make something this complicated in the tutorial. If you want to do this, you got to watch the other video. We're going to just make a simple shape. So we're going to make a new part. We're going to start with the top plane. And in the top plane, we're going to go normal to to see it. And we're going to go to sketch. We're just going to sketch a circle. And circles are kind of boring, so we'll make it a Pac-Man circle by drawing a couple of straight lines. Once I've got those lines, I can trim this piece right here, and now I've got Pac-Man. So we are done already with sketching the plate. You could sketch a more complicated plate here. We're not offsetting like on the cookie cutter, so you can pretty much sketch as complicated as you'd like as long as it's something that can be extruded. So I'm all done trimming. Now I'm ready to extrude. I go to Features and choose Extrude. This thickness needs to be a reasonable thickness to go on your wall. Um, this is what you want it to look like on the wall. You can adjust it to whatever thickness you think would work um, for strength and for looks on your wall. All right, so let's check our outline. We've extruded the plate. Now it says sketch the hook. So this is where we have to go 3D. So we've been sketching on the top plane here. Uh, whatever plane you used, you need to use a different plane. So my hook, I'm going to put on the right plane so that I can draw off the wall. I also need to start understanding my views. I'm using the middle mouse button to, to right click and move around, but I can also choose a standard view by clicking on this button and then choosing one of these standard views, or I can just click on the side of the cube I want to view it from. So I can see which way I'm going. You'll also notice that I'm in orthographic mode. That means that when I look here, I'm not seeing this side or this side, it's looking straight on. You can switch that under view, display, and you can turn off perspective or turn on perspective mode. If you turn on perspective mode, if I move my object further to the right, I see more of the back of it. If I move it further to the left, I see more of the front of it. That's not what I want. I want to see it straight on. That's going to help me in some of our future projects. So it's good to know where that is. Let's turn that off. You can change a lot of other things about your view. But that's what I'm going to do. So that way I can see this. If this is me. This would be the wall over here. The hook's going to come off this way. So on the right plane, right plane selected, I can use um, any of my straight lines or curved lines, splines, arcs to draw my, my hook. I'm going to start my hook coincident to my plate, but you could go into the plate. That's okay too. I'm going to start coincident to the plate. And I'm going to draw some hook shape. Whatever I like. Um, I can exit my sketch or I can hit escape to stop drawing my spline. There's a spline. Okay. I want to sweep this and add some dimension to it so I can just sweep it with a circular uh, with a circular uh, profile or I could add a profile by sketching right on top of this surface by selecting the top of this surface and going to sketch let's exit my previous sketch if I select the top of this surface and then I can draw right on top of that surface a profile and now that I've got both of those I can go to features and I can choose sweep. The profile I want to sweep is this sketch. The line I want to sweep it on is this sketch. And by default, it's going to merge under options. You can also try aligning with end faces and things like that, but you can see what's happening here. That's going to make my hook. This thickness here is going to give it the strength that it needs. I'm going to click the check mark here. If you want to add extra strength, you can experiment with adding ribs to this to add strength without adding a whole bunch or filleting edges to make them more attached. But this 
is almost done. All I gotta do is find a way to attach it to the wall. There's lots of different attachment methods you could use, but the thing I wanted to show you was this area right here. So at this point we've extruded, revolved, swept, and lofted in our previous videos. So all of those, extruding, revolving, lofting, and sweeping, can also create a hole or a, a cut in the existing object and you would use these tools up here to do it. You do it exactly the same way except for instead of making something you'd be subtracting something. You could also do it by making it and then using combine subtract but this is a more direct route. You also have this cool thing that's cool in SolidWorks. You can actually make a hole from a template. So I can look at these holes and I can decide, ooh yeah I like the looks of this one, right? Or I like the looks of a countersunk hole so that if I use a screw, it will it'll, it can live flush with my surface. So I'm going to choose a countersunk hole. And you can see that I can choose different types of screws. I can choose different sizes of screws, a number two screw. I can choose a half inch screw. I can choose where I'm going to buy my screws from and whether they're in metric or they're um, in ANSI inches. So then I just click on positions here. And it says, where do you want it? And so I just click on it. Now it knows I'm putting a hole in the surface. I can even line it up with that center line. And I click to place, click the check mark, and I have a hole. The hole goes all the way through. And it's countersunk. And I can always go back and edit the feature if I decide later on that actually what I meant was I want a much bigger hole. And that's it. That's a wall hook. The next video that you should watch is about how to check to see if this is going to something that's going to 3D print easily or if it's going to have trouble. So watch our video about that, watch some videos about overhangs, and have fun 3D printing.